Let's try one more little bit. It'll take five minutes. You don't have to remember it, but it gets on to what we were talking about yesterday. Remember why voltages in parallel were the same. So if that's one resistor, and this is the other resistor, and out they come here. And if this is 10, R equals 10, and this is R equals 5, And up here I've got a voltage of 10 volts. And that's my symbol for a voltage. And that's my 10 volts. Which one of these is going to require the greater work to bring a charge across? Bigger one. Right. It's, it's taking a minute or two to explain. It's lower resistance, so if I'm bringing one coulomb across this guy, it's going to take less work or more work than bringing one coulomb across this guy. The first one will be less. So if I'm bringing the same amount of charge across both, well then you wouldn't say that the work done is the same in both cases because there'll be less work done here than there is here. However, we know that if I call that by one and that by two and close the door. Yep. So, so. It's, it's that little concept right there that we've got, just got to tease out, right? It's the work done in bringing charge from one place to another. Now, what do we mean by charge? Per unit, remember, what is, what is current? Current is the flow of charge. So, current is a flow of charge. What's the basic unit of charge? Coulomb. The coulomb. And the current, what's the relationship between current? Because remember, it's I that's flowing here. What's the relationship between current and charge? Q equals I B. Q equals B over Q. You've got to have an I, I in there I somewhere. I T. Remember to quit? Q equals I T. So I equals Q divided by T. And it's this little bit here that we're going to try and make sense of up here. So the current is the charge divided by time. Now, if I'm looking at my current up here, if I'm saying the current here I1 and my current here I2, the if this turns out to be, and we could work this out, if this turned out to be 2 amps, and I better put in brackets C because I haven't worked it out, what will the current up here be? 4. We'll let everybody else take a look at that. If the current down here is 2 amps, and I should have worked this out mathematically because I'm only guessing this, if that turned out to be 2 amps, what will my current up here be? 1 amp. Uh, 1 amp, it's half. Mm. Casper, what is it? It's less resistance. It's less resistance, therefore, it's going to be 4 amps. If it was 2 amps here, it would be 4 amps up here. Right? So whatever, the current there is going to be twice the current here. What do I mean by current? I mean the charge per unit time. So basically, there's going to be, in this case, twice as much charge per unit time past this resistor than there is has this resistor. So, and that's why the resistance is lower. You with me here? Yeah. The resistance is lower, the current is doubled, and that means in per second, I'm going to be bringing twice as much charge. And that's what it means when I say by I. I is the charge, it's not the charge I'm bringing, it's the charge per unit time. And it's that little second there that makes a difference, that tries to explain it. So it's not that I'm bringing the same amount of charge to both resistors. It's that in one second, I'm bringing twice as much charge, twice as many coulombs per second here as I am here. And that's why the two effects are cancelling each other out. That's why when you've got V equals IR. It's easy to say the current is twice it is down here, but what does it mean by current? It means the charge per unit time. And that's why we say the potential across there, the work done in bringing charge per unit time there, is the same as the work done in bringing charge per unit time down here. Okay? Because there's less charge per unit time here, but there's more work done in bringing it across. There's more charge per unit time here, but there's less work done in bringing each in coulomb. There's less work done in bringing each coulomb, which are bringing twice as many coulombs per second up there as you are there. So it's not a definitive answer, but it just gives you another little extra bit to what's going on. Okay? And make that a bit, I just better reiterate again, the two amps I just made up, which would make this four amps, but to work this out, you do it fairly quickly, how would I work out what my current would be here?